to deliver to us and to the nation today. But for the sake of time, I will introduce only four of them, and the rest will be introduced to us uh, later in the day and in the coming uh, days. Among the members of these groups, we have got very important message to deliver. As I said in a couple of minutes back, one is Honorable David Yao Yao. Then, in the group, one of the persons I would also like to introduce to us is Gerald Baba Fanom. Gerald Baba Fanom is a former advisor on security affairs in greater Pibor and Nusetif areas. The third person I would also like to introduce to us is Stephen Konyi Dankuch. Stephen Dankuch, Stephen Konyi Dankuch is a former Minister of Finance in Greater Pibor. Now, I will have the opportunity to introduce again to us the man who leads the group, Honorable David Yao Yao. David, David was born on the 10th of October 1976 in Hiris village of Manubol Fayam in, in Gundro County of Fibo. Educationally, David has two master's degrees, one in strategic and security studies, and another in disaster risk reduction management and food resilience system, both of which are from University of Duba. David started his rise with teaching in primary schools in Jabal Buma and Fibor administrative area from the year 2000 to the year 2007. In 2007 to 2009, David Yao Yao served as Fibor RRC county coordinator. And in 2010, Sudan general election, he contested for a position of member of parliament representing Gumruk constituency at Dongle State Parliament. The election was rigged against him and in search for his democratic rights and the need for respect for the rule of law, democracy and human rights. He formed South Sudan Democratic Movement with military arm known as Cobra Faction. David, in 2014, signed an agreement that is called an agreement of the resolutions of conflict in Jongle State that led to the best of greater Pibor administrative area of which he became the chief administrator. From 2014 to 2016. In 2016 to 2018, he served as Deputy Minister of Defense and Veteran Affairs and then became Deputy Minister of Labor, Public Service, and Human Resource Development after the positions of Deputy Defense Minister. 
in 2018 to 2020, David served as a governor of the Fangbia State, and in 2021 to 2023, he served as a national member of parliament in RTNA. This is all about the man. And today, he has a very important message to deliver to us, to the FIS partners, and to the nation as whole. At this juncture, please join me in welcoming Honorable David Gerald Yawio. Viva! 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 Viva!